Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video we are going to be talking about an incredible Samsung app, a free app that every Samsung Galaxy owner needs. I think this app is a hidden gem, so let's dive in and get started right away. Now the app has to do with the edge panels. And when I pull in my edge panels, you're going to see it right away. There it is. It's the Sticky Notes Edge Panel app that allows you to add sticky notes to the side of your screen just like this color code and customize as you desire. So these are just a bunch of sticky notes I added and color coded just to give an example. So great tool, very likely it's going to help you with your day and even help you increase some productivity. First, let me show you how to download the application, how to set it up, and then we're going to look at the details of this application. So to download the application, there's going to be a link down below. When you click that link, you are going to be at my website. When you scroll down just a little bit under download, you want to click this link right here. Ignore the fact that it says Samsung News. That's just a typo. That's the link that's going to take you to the Galaxy Store from where you are able to download the sticky notes and the widget. Once you're done, here's what you want to do. You want to go to the settings to activate the application in case you're not familiar with the edge panels. You go to display. You scroll down a little bit. You go to Edge Panels, make sure they're turned on, go inside, and tap on Panels, and after you download the application, it's going to show up in the Panels screen right here. So here it is, the sticky notes. You just enable it, and it's going to show up in the Edge Panel. Depends on where you put the handle. Uh, you can modify the handle right from here. You can change the color. You can change the size and all that stuff. You can see it's right here. So it's going to be easy to access. So I can pull it in to access my edge panels and you can see that I have the sticky notes uh, panel. So once you bring up the panel, you have a couple options, settings, add new and sort. Now, if you want to add a brand new sticky note, all you do is add new. You get into this screen and then you can tap on the color over here and you can pick a color that you desire. Uh, let's just do blue. And then just an example, X, Y. Okay, and then you tap on save on the corner. And now when you pull this in, you've got that sticky note in that color right over here for your reference throughout the day. And it's accessible with a quick swipe. Now, this app is 100% free. In fact, sometimes it shows you ads. However, here's what's incredible. If you do tap on settings, you're going to be here. And let me just go back here. Tap the back to come to the main screen. Tap over here. You're going to see a button here that says remove ads. Now, when you click that button, it's going to tell you to remove the ads permanently. All you have to do is just watch one single ad. That's like 20 seconds. That's what I did. All the advertisements just disappeared. That's what I call a free app. If you don't click that button and click on remove ads, Every now and then, you're going to see an ad just pop up randomly. You're going to have to watch it for five seconds. Just do the remove ads, and you're going to be good to go. And this is the main screen here that shows you a breakdown of your uh, sticky notes. You can also add from here. Tap on add, and you can again pick a color, uh, blah, 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 X, Z, okay? And tap on save. And also, you can press and hold to move them around, okay? So you can reorder them as you want to give it priority. And again, the easiest way to manage these uh, sticky notes is using these menus. You can sort the apps. So look, tap on this. Like I said, if, if this was something I already did now for the day, I can just grab it and push it down. So that makes it less of a priority and I can concentrate on the top ones. Okay, just so you know. And again, and then if I exit this one more time and go back inside, I can also go to the settings or just add new. So those are the available settings as you saw. This is not a big deal. You don't have to worry about it. Once you're here, you can tap here to go to the main screen, see a snapshot, and also access uh, other uh, related settings. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.